Hi, welcome to this SQL tutorial video and today I'm going to show you how to add columns to existing tables. On screen I've got a table called employees, it's already got data in. Let's imagine I need to add another column to store a, a different piece of data. And it's nice and easy, the syntax is pretty simple uh, and, and the process generally is very very quick. So if I do alter table and I specify my table, I say add, I don't need to put add column, add anything like that, I just need to put add, and then I need to give a name for my new column, give it a data type, and run that SQL. Now, if I run uh, select on my table, I can see I've got a new column called grade. Um, similar syntax if I wanna uh, get rid of that, so I've created that column, and actually it was the wrong table, I need it on a different table, so I just say drop, um, now I need to put column, column, Great, and I run that, and the column's gone. You can add more than one column at, at the same time. So uh, right now, I, I don't have a grade column. It's just got um, the standard, the, the initial seven columns. So if I now say I want to add grade, and then I'll put a comma, and I want to add a column called suffix, um, there's a, a date, the type, and if I run that, and then if I run that, you can see I've got two columns now, grade and suffix. Uh, by default, as you add columns, they'll just get added to the end uh, of your table. And that really doesn't matter because when you're selecting, when you're doing a select form table, um, you can get the columns in, in any order you like. Uh, you know, it, it doesn't matter uh, where the columns are, honestly. Um, because you can get the, the columns in any order, so it doesn't really it doesn't really matter. So by default, they get they get added to the end of the table. So let me drop now um, this column. I don't want that column anymore. So I've just got my grade column. And my grade columns of varchar six. Now let's imagine that actually um, I, I, the varchar six isn't right. I need to change that data type so we can do that. So we say. Alter table employees, and then we say alter column, and then we say the column, and then we give it a new data type. So I can say give it a bar chart, right? Um, and let me just show you here um, if I just in on the right hand side. Sorry, I've been playing about with this prior to this. If I just refresh that, grades currently at bar chart six. So when I run this, I alter table. If I now right click my columns here, you'll see that it's now a varchar eight. I can also put it down to varchar four. Now there are rules to this. So if I just right click this. Right now there's no data in my column. So I'm kind of uh, free to do a lot of things when it comes to modifying the data type. However, if I try to modify the data type of department, department is a, um, a char four, maybe the full name. Um, full name is a bar char thirty. It's already got uh, uh, data in here. So let's say I want to say alter column full name, um, and I'm going to make it a bar char four. If I try and run that, I'll get an error because I can't make it a, a bar char four because there's already data in there that is bigger than um, four characters. So there'll be uh, truncation issues so it can't do that equally if I tried to change it to a date time or to it to a number um, an integer it would have a problem with that because there's already data in there and that data type doesn't match the data in here doesn't match the data type I'm trying to change it to so there are restrictions when it comes to that a uh, couple more things then let me drop my column for a second so I've now, I don't have the grade anymore. What I want to do is I want to add grade, um, but I want to give it a um, a default. So um, varchar six and the default is, I don't know, senior. So if I run that, it works fine. Um, however, if I do a select star from my table, there's nothing in there. So all it means is when I've put my default in there, it means whenever a new column is added, if if, if grade is not, uh, whenever date is added to the table, if grade, 
um, grade is not specified, then senior will be put in by default. But when you add the column, senior doesn't automatically get put in using that syntax. Now, you could use a different kind of syntax, but now when it comes to trying to drop my column to recreate it with the, the fresh syntax, I'm going to get an error. So because I've created a column with a default, it's created something called a constraint. Um, and be, now that this column has a constraint, I can't just delete the column before. Uh, first of all, I've got to delete the constraint. So there is syntax now to do that. But the easiest way to do it is if now if I right click on my table and I go to uh, drop and create my table here. It gives you the syntax to drop and create fully your table. So be careful not to, to just to run this because your table will be completely wiped and recreated. Uh, blank but what it does show you here is at the top here there is the syntax to drop the constraint for the new column that I've created so I'm and, and just to, just to show you something in the error it does specify the name of the constraint here so if I go back to here that's the same constraint there so if I just execute that I've dropped that constraint now if I come back to my table um, I can now drop my column because the constraint is no longer there and just to prove it, um, the, the column's gone. Now, same syntax here, add grade uh, with the, the uh, data type default senior, and then we just add to the end with values. And then when I run this, it's added the default of senior to my column, but also it's added the default to each new entry in the column. That's the end of this video. I hope you find it helpful. Please give me a tick. A, a thumbs up would be appreciated. Any any comments um, would be appreciated. It helps me with my content. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.